What's going on guys, CryptoHoy here with another quick update on Dash to Trade and in this video we're going to be analyzing the price and also looking at the reaction of investors on social media, specifically on Twitter. And just to give you like a heads up, uh, most people are not happy at all and we're going to find out why, why that is. Let's jump uh, right in here into L Bank to look at the charts for Dash to Trade and it doesn't look pretty guys, it looks really really bad. Um, right here, it started to show, um, just by the way, in case you guys didn't know, um, the token was launched on the 11th, which was Wednesday of January 11th, Wednesday on 2023. That's when it was launched. But here on L Bank, we see that as early as 2 a.m., there were already activities happening at 2 a.m. in the morning on the 11th. And it went as high as around like 12 cents. And then about four hours later at 6 a.m., it went all the way down the highest, all the way to like three cents, almost four cents, practically four cents. And by the way, the time here is on my time zone, which is central standard time. All right, because I'm in Texas. Um, so it's, uh, you know, you can kind of figure out on your time zone more or less. But pretty much we see here that it was just a huge, I mean, this looks to me like a huge dump. Um, somebody got a head start at 2 a.m. Um, the price went all the way, it peaked at 12 cents and then it will drop all the way down to five cents, uh, which is more like five and a half cents, which was the, uh, the pre-sale price when it started more or less, it was like at 0 0.053, I, I believe it was the initial pre-sale, like the first stage, the first round. And then it, it increased there slowly, by, uh, you know, by a little bit. Uh, but it was still in the five cents range. It didn't go higher than that. If we were just to kind of simplify this at five and a half cents, uh, all the way down to where it is now, which is two cents, basically right below two cents, but let's just say two cents, um, that's over 50% already, you know, half price, like 60%, I think, down, which is not a good thing compared to pre-sale price. And yeah, so this doesn't look uh, good, guys. And we look here at gates.io. Let's get a different perspective. Let's look at a different chart. Right here, started to register activities at 8 a.m. in the morning. So there's like a uh, six hours difference, not difference, I'm sorry, um, like later, gate.io uh, started reporting activities at 8 a.m. compared to L Bank, which was 2 a.m. So just keep that in mind. So L Bank came first, but here on, on gates.io, um, it shows green that there was a lot of buying, but right after around, let me see, at 12 noon, that's when we started to see some selling. Of course, there were some buying, but overall, we see this huge dump again. And that, and that leaves us where we are right now, which is right below two cents. But enough of looking at the charts, you guys already know the pricing. Now let's go into the social media, specifically here on Twitter. Let's see here, sorry, um, what people's reaction are, okay? So their latest tweet was at one hour ago, and it says, hey, uh, that should trade crew. Uh, what are the top trending? So there's some, you know, they're just posting here a video. Um, they're talking about like the top trending cryptos this week. Uh, but anyways, let's go here and we can see what's happening. L look at these comments. One person says, what's going on? Uh, are you guys enjoying the profits? Four question marks. You must be celebrating the goals you had planned. Definitely not a happy comment. Then somebody um, right here curses a lot, but they said this says that how much left from 750 million airdrop, the F and team, 750 million airdrop, mostly for the team, then F the price, no panic. So it was F and free. Um, I'm not really quite sure following what he's saying here, but he doesn't seem happy. Um, now, when we scroll down here, it says not dash to trade. It'll be worth zero next week. Again, not, not happy person it says for sure not dash to trade. Then another person trash and scammers. And then somebody says, unfortunately not dash to trade. So a lot of people are not really happy with this. Let's jump back and look at some other sections here. Um, one of the things that they are showing up here is that their uh, dash to trade pre-sale section is live and it's gonna be open or, or it's probably already open for testing. And it gives us here like a sneak peek of what this is going to look like. Now this right here, it reminds me very similar to Vetter token. If you guys remember Vetter token, there were kind of doing somewhat similar things. I'm not saying it's exactly the same thing, but you needed to hold tokens in order for you to have access and you're you're able to actually look at a calendar and kind of uh, see what the uh, upcoming pre-sales are and people are vetting on these tokens. They're doing their research, they're posting any red flags and everything so you can click on it and have access to it. And depending on the amount of tokens that you hold, 
which is kind of like having a uh, subscription, but you need to hold a certain amount. Instead of paying them every month, you just have to hold a certain amount. Then you'll have access on all the information that you guys see here pretty much on their platform. If you guys wanna know more about uh, Vetter token, you guys can click here on the video or down in the description. It's a very old video, but it's very similar. It has a very similar idea. But anyways, right here, they're giving us kind of like a beta version of what you know what to expect. And it shows here the token metrics, um, the launch dates. Um, it's cut off here, so we can't see, but I'm assuming it's going to show, you know, when it was first the pre-sale and then when it's going to be ending and then the launch dates, all that basic information and their ticker, you know, their uh, abbreviations uh, when they, once they're launched on the uh, exchanges and things of that nature. But um, yeah, so we have here some information. Now let's go into the comment section for this. And this was posted about uh, like three hours ago. And here we say, uh, we see, sorry, um, why don't you ever answer people? I have not received tokens, so cannot trade. How can you help? And then somebody says, top team, 4K gone, scam to trade. Um, and then somebody else says, don't buy garbage project. The worst parts of pre-sale ever. Yeah, great. You can now buy this token for half the price of the pre-sale amount. Buy high and sell low. This project is a joke. And, and it goes on and on. Um, and then right here it says huge scammer. Um, I guess uh, you, I guess this right here obviously doesn't look like it's a real one because it says dash to trade uh, sub. Um, so you guys gotta, gotta watch out there because it's also like impersonating, like phishing uh, messages. You know, just be aware there, you know, guys. But anyways, um, that's separate. That's not, you know, the team. That's somebody else, but just gotta watch out. But anyways, the point is that um, the actual team here, okay, the Dash to Trade, the actual project didn't do so well. Now, the question is, can Dash to Trade recover? I think they can somewhat recover a little bit on the price, kind of bring it up a little bit if they release the platform and they show that, you know, it has a, it holds and it provides some sort of value. But at this point, I can tell you that most investors got into this uh, pre-sale, not because of the project. They got into it because of the pump. They got into it because they want to, as soon as it launches, if they're able to make some money, you know, sell and, you know, waiting for that pump. But uh, unfortunately, there wasn't any pump. We see that it didn't really go that high. It pretty much stayed at the same price, uh, you know, at around five cents. And it was just a straight dump. So, um, yeah, it didn't really pump at all, to be honest. But that's the problem. A lot of investors, I'm not saying all, but most of them are actually in it for the pre-sale for the pump. And then they just dash. OK, instead of dash to trade, it's like dash to jump they get out they dash out and they move on to the next pre-sale and the unfortunate truth is that a lot of these uh pre-sale creators owners devs and team they do this because that's where the money is they're actually treating uh these uh pre-sales more of a product than an actual project again they're treating these pre-sales as a product than a actual project okay what happens after a few weeks, months, even it becomes obsolete and they just move on to do something else. So you guys got to watch out and then they repeat the whole process again. OK, they're going to they're going to release a new product, a.k.a. pre-sale, and they're going to just change the label instead of calling it Dash to Trade or uh, Tama Dodge or whatever you call it. They're going to call it something different. They're going to come up with some other different ideas, different projects. And again, do the whole, repeat the whole process again, the whole cycle. So you just gotta watch out there. And if you guys wanna learn more about this, how, um, I'm not saying, oh, okay, how some uh, companies are actually uh, getting into this business and turning it into like an, ind an industry of pre sales. Okay, because crypto used to be a, a space for freedom, right? Where you can interact or I'm sorry, uh, do transactions without involving the bank, uh, you know, be more decentralized. But now what's happening is that in this space, in the crypto space, we have some companies that are joining the space, but are looking this to make a lucrative uh, profit for themselves. So they just uh, make a pre-sale, don't have to really do much. And then afterwards, just blame the bear market and move on and repeat the whole thing all over again. So watch this video right here. It's going to be in the bottom so you guys can see, you know, um, the truth, you know, how what's really going on behind the curtains of, of these pre-sales. And I'll have it also in the description down below. And again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.